Hey, we're Badass Buggy Builders. We're here today to do a, uh, a review install video on a surprise box here. The editor has decided to give us. We don't know what's in it yet, but he says it's gonna be a nice surprise for us. So if you'll slide it on over here, this is from Kimimoto. We've gotten stuff from them before. So let's see what this is. Oh, I know what these are. Ooh, oh yeah, I know what these are. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. We've been, or I have been wanting some of these. Oh man, them's nice. These are side mirrors for yeah, that lights with lights on them. And turn signals. And turn signals. They got daytime running lights there. They got lights there and a turn signal right there. So these we'll be putting these on our uh, blue donkey over there on the razor they are beefy man they're nice those are nice so yeah it looks like that looks like your passenger side mirror here's your driver's side mirror i mean that is that's, that's some that's hard, hard stuff. stuff that's what she said <laughs> that probably weighs seven or eight pounds by itself a lot of on this board too. And then you got a wiring harness of some sort. Oh, Instructions. Instructions. Oh, pound keys. Put it yeah, look at that. Yeah. All right, so it's uh, got turn signals. Turn signal. And, and the, the uh, I guess that's the that's for the daytime running lights. These are nice. Oh, they are nice. They got long leads with them. Okay, so we've already got mirrors. We already have mirrors on that machine. We'll go to the machine here in a minute. We already got mirrors on that machine. So we'll have to, uh, yeah, and a camera. So we'll have to take that off. We'll have to take that off. And these mount straight to the roll cage. These mount straight to your roll cage and you adjust them from that. That's nice. I mean, I believe that's... It's actually a mirror. Hey, editor, how much are Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, check that out. Can y'all see that? Are y'all seeing this? Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? All right, let's move on. Let's move over to the machine, I guess. Can we see how much this cost? Oh, yeah, we should. I said, that's why I asked my editor how much are these. I don't know how much these cost. How much these cost, editor? Uh, All right, so this, like I said, this machine's already got mirrors on it, so we're going to work on getting this off. It's got a camera mount, a camera mounted right here. Um, we'll get that taken off, and we'll figure out how to mount that later, back on there later. But for now, we're just going to get this taken off. All right, so now the factory mirrors are removed. We're taking the hood off, so we can start pulling the wires into there. We're going to uh, see if we can get that new mirror to clamp in around right here. We'll have to loosen this windshield up a little, this little forward glass up a little bit, and then we'll clamp that around. See you in a second. To remove the screws out of this, take this apart. It helps if you got an extra person here. Hold that for a minute, Chase. This is going to go in here like this. We're going to put this in here. This is where the extra hands come in handy. Chase, come right here and help. There we go. All right. And by help, I'm ready camera over here. You can edit that out. There, this is on. So I guess the. Uh, if you. Right so tighten this one right here down first. Tighten that one down good and tight, and then it allows you to still spin this around to where you can, all you gotta do is tighten this one down and it will sandwich the whole thing down. Because once you spin it around, you can't get to this one. Okay, so we have run these wires through here on both sides, passenger and driver's side. They'll fit right through here. And they come out, bring them, bring them underneath, underneath this plastic up along, along the roll cage, up into this, what we call the fire hazard area. If you've got a lot of accessories, that's kind of what it looks like. You won't find this on most machines. This is an aftermarket bus bar, extended bus bar, fuse block. Um, anyway, we're gonna run the wires in here and power, run power off of one of these. We've got, what, two vacant tape? 
No, I already have it hooked up right here. Oh, you've already got it hooked up here? And okay. Up. So that's what we'll do. We're going to follow the instructions that are provided in the kit. They already give you a fuse, but we just double fused it. So because this is our block, they already give you a fuse, but we just double fused it. This before. fuse box we have here came from Vent. Uh, VentRacing.com. And the way it's hooked up is this only has power when the switch comes on. It, it has a relay unit that comes off of the switch. It pulls from the main power supply that runs back to the battery. So you get full power to all this, but it only has power on it when the switch comes on. Um, but anyway, so we're going to tie into that. Okay, so what we've done, we've removed this center console piece. Some of you have a, a cubby hole thing. Mine was a uh, tablet holder. Yeah. So now we can access our switch panels here. And uh, we're going to be going out over there through the firewall with our, all of our wires. And we're going to tie them in. We've already got an LED light bar switch. We're going to tie them into this so that the mirrors come on we turn the light bars on. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're also going to put the turn signal switch here on the left-hand side because most people used to use the turn signal here on the left of the steering wheel anyway. So we'll put the turn signal switch right here. I'm going to mark that out, and I'm going to cut that out with a razor knife, and then we'll better pop that in there and go back through there to the other side as well. All right, so what I did is I used this switch and hook to uh, mark that out. It's marked out with a Sharpie, and then I cut this out with a razor knife. No, after I hit my step in the head with the uh, light, cut that out with a razor knife. I just cut it out kind of small to start with and just kept trimming and trimming and trimming. All right, and then now we are going to run the wires through it. Okay, so what we've done, we've run a wire, I mean a, uh, a metal flag through here, through the firewall, through that hole right there in that firewall, and he's taped the wires to it. I'm gonna pull it back to you now. All right, so we've wired this back up. As you've seen earlier, we unhooked it so that we could get everything pulled through. We took a picture of all these wires so we knew how to hook them back up and it's wired up. You can see it flashing. You can hear it clicking. Maybe you can't hear it, but it's clicking. That's the flasher clicking. And then we've got it, uh, for right now, we've got the uh, lights wired into the LED light bar switch. So they all come on at the same time. I think I'm going to put a high-low switch in here so that the high runs all the LED light bar and the mirror lights, and then the low just runs the mirror lights. So when I'm trying to pass them on the trail, I'm not blinding them with the light bars. So, and all that goes back through there, through the firewall, and out to the front. We'll show you that. And here, we brought all this harness up in here, and our editor, chief, and wiring professional uh, wired all this up here at the fire hazard area. So anyway, yeah, we call it the fire hazard because it looks like a fire hazard. <laughs> anyway. There you go, and it's wired up. Let's, uh, let's put everything back together and then we'll show you the finished product. And it is wired up, let's try it out. Give me a turn signal. Give me an A! Hey! Give me an A! There you go, other turn signal. Other turn signal, leave that on. There you go. All right, now show us the lights. Wow, it's bright. All right, so you have both. There you go. Like I said, we're going to put a switch on it, a high-low switch, so that the LED light bars go off when you turn it to low and just the mirror stay on. So there you go. And then in here, turn that signal back on. There you go. You got an arrow. And you can hear it. And then go again. There you go. Good deal. There you go. That's that easy. So, yeah. So, as far as a... Uh, Tate brought up a good point. As far as the build quality, man, these things are excellently built. Excellently yeah, built. 10 out of 10. Maybe a 12 out of 10. Yeah, they're, they're, they're really very, they're very nice. durable, very nice, very heavy duty built. The, uh, as far as a install difficulty level on a scale from one to 10, like we always try to give things, 10 being the most difficult, one being the easiest, I'd say it's probably a medium, five, five. It's not super hard. It's you, not, you just have to get underneath the machine. Yeah. Right? wired up that's really the wiring things is the hardest part it's not extremely difficult it just take this little time consuming pulling your wire and stuff like that so other than that's easy you had less wire as you saw we have a fire hazard in front of this thing yeah. 
So, but anyway, that way it's just hard enough to cut out the switch. So, and uh, they're, I mean, they're really heavy duty. So, we love them. I love them already. I'm very impressed with them. Very, very impressed. So, okay. Once again, like and subscribe. Hit us up on the bell notifications and all that good stuff. If you got any comments, or questions, anything like that, hit us in the comment section. We'll be glad to get back to you and do it as quick as we can. Uh, you can go down in the uh, below the at the bottom down here in the uh, information area, and there'll be a link to the description to order these and 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 the price to be in there too, as well. I don't remember off the top of my head how much they are. They're in the mid 140, 150 dollar range, I believe, but it'll be in that description as well. So there you go. Thank y'all. And, and, and he also probably put it on the screen somewhere. Too. Yeah, exactly. Thank or you. Like and happy trails from the Badass Buggy Builders. Thank y'all.